Welcome for this weekly recap of the blockchain news. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Ada Blocks, I teach blockchain development. This week, we will release a new course on security. More details later this week. This week, Ether seems to make a recovery before falling again because of comments of the Fed chairman Jerome Powell, which could mean that the interest rates might increase soon to fight inflation, which would be bearish for stocks and crypto. Vitalik released an updated roadmap for Ethereum. It has the proof of work switch off, roll up scaling via sharding, statelessness, purge of historical data, and other stuff. It's the Beacon Chain first birthday with 263,000 validators and $40 billion staked. Starknet is live on Mainnet. Starknet is an L2 scaling solution for Ethereum built on a zero knowledge rollup. This week, after a big drop, the total value locked in DeFi is approaching $100 billion. Bancor announced its V3. It brings improvement to order routing and provides better protection against impermanent loss. And the liquidity mining rewards is now auto compounding. Diversify, which is an L2 DEX, announced an airdrop of its DVF tokens. Tornado Cash is now live on Arbitrum. Perpetual Protocol V2 is now live on Optimism. Edith Young, a famous VC, said that startup funding for Web3 and crypto will double to 20 to 30 billion dollars in 2022, and the total market cap will reach 5 trillion. Ironfish, a privacy protocol, raised 27.6 million. One inch, the top DEX aggregator just raised $175 million. Badger DA was hacked for $120 million via token approval from an apparent compromised front end. Mono X has a $31 million exploit on Ethereum and Polygon. The pool was drained via price manipulation of project's token. A crypto exchange called Bitmart lost almost $200 million in a hack. Adidas changed its Twitter profile to their bold ape NFT. Budweiser US changed its Twitter name to beer.eth and sold almost 2,000 beer can NFTs. Blips is a new kind of NFT which produces sound generated on-chain. Now news for developer, ethers.js added Arbitrum and Optimism support. That's it for today, have a great week!